Hey family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Thanks so much for stopping by for this quick Sunday reset. I hope that you are doing amazing. So I've already cooked some breakfast. Oh look y'all, this is um, a coffee mug that Fred and I got when we attended a marriage ministry retreat. And I just love the mugs. We got a set, one for each of us. Yeah, so, and we've been going through a lot of coffee mugs within the past week because I don't know about y'all, but my sinuses or allergies or something were acting up. And so Fred was making me some Theraflu, the kind that you mix in with like some hot water. And so, yeah, that's why we have all the coffee cups. But anywho, I hope that you have had an amazing week and are looking forward to being productive in the week ahead. And yeah, um, we're just going to go ahead and get some Sunday reset vibes going on well they actually already started but <laughs> yeah so let me know what do you like to do to reset yourself or reset your house so that you can have less to think about during the week I'm curious because I need some help Whenever I clean the sink, I always say that I want to get some of the pink stuff and try that on the sink to see how it works. But then when I use the Dawn Power Fresh, it does what I need it to do. And then it's a repeat cycle. I go back and say I need to get some pink stuff. And then I use the Dawn Power Wash. But let me know if you use the pink stuff and how that works for you. Now I'm going to clean the stove top off and wipe that down. But as I was removing these grates, I realized that I really need to give them a deep clean, like where well, they need to soak or something. So that'll be an upcoming video, like a kitchen deep clean. Cause I need to clean the cabinets and everything really good from where just stuff in the air particles have been accumulating over a certain period of time. So we're gonna get that tackled as well. What really tricks me though, y'all, is that my cabinets are on the darker side, so I don't really see the dirt or the grease or all that buildup unless the light is hitting it at an angle and I'm like, oh wait, I need to clean that. <laughs>
y'all it's the hand on the hip for me like <laughs> this is what I look like cleaning vacuuming okay I'll take it <laughs> oh goodness okay there I go again I, okay but later on in the video I am going to cook uh, what I think is an easy prep meal I mean I'm cooking it so it can't be too hard right <laughs> Now that the kitchen is all clean, I'm going to start a load of laundry. So here are the items that I use, the downy softener, the Tide Pods with Oxy, sometimes without. It just depends on what's on sale when I go shopping. Then there is the Clorox 2 and also the Downy Unstoppables, the scent boosters that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and get this load started. And then once I get the load started, Fred and I actually decided that we wanted to go out to eat. Yes, we did. Husband and wife time. A day date. <laughs> And then after we went to eat, um, we ended up going to Lowe's to get some stuff for a next project. And then after that, what did we do? Oh, I went to Hobby Lobby. Mm-hmm. Because this was a Saturday. Even though it's a Sunday reset, you know, it's just motivation for a Sunday reset. But this was actually a Saturday. And if you know Hobby Lobby, they close at 8 o'clock on the dot. So we had to go ahead and get there. <laughs> Fred and I are back and of course the clothes in the washing machine have completed the cycle so I'm going to unload the washing machine and load the dryer. Because I put so many things into the washing machine, I don't have to add anything into the dryer. I mean the fabric softener is already done, the scented beads, all of that is already in there. So I do like that and next up I'm going to go into the kitchen and go ahead and prepare dinner. I hope you stay around because I think it's a good one. For dinner, I'm making a chicken alfredo with some steamed broccoli and then the garlic knots. So here are the ingredients. It's the garlic knots and then the rotini noodles. I'm showing four cans of the sauce, but I only use two cans or two jars of the ragu roasted garlic parmesan sauce. And then there's the broccoli in the back. I'm using the Tuscany seasoned flavor. And then I'm also using chicken tenderloins, but you can also use boneless, skinless chicken breast as well it just depends on you it's just easier for me to cut up the chicken tenders than it is the chicken breast so that's my preference so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the water boiling with these rotini noodles in it and then after that I'm going to get the chicken out go ahead and season it so y'all I'm using I want to say it's black pepper salt what else no did I no I got the garlic salt <laughs> the seasoning salt 
and then I'm looking for the oregano and then I'm also going to get some thyme. See, watch. <laughs> now, I will say that I am just winging it with these seasons. It did end up turning out pretty good, but I was just like, Fred was upstairs. He wasn't feeling too good. My daughter was asleep. Who is the person I got this recipe from? So I'm like, Nietzsche, you just got to put on your big girl pants girl and just go ahead and get it done so I'm preparing the pan now to go ahead and fry up or saute up those chicken tenderloins so that I can go ahead and cut them and then we're going to put everything together Oh yeah, so after draining the noodles, I did go ahead and just season them right there where they are. I believe I used some black pepper and some, yeah, black pepper and seasoned salt. <laughs> I told you I was winging it. Alright, so now I've taken the chicken out of the pan. Just going to cut it up, not really dicing it, maybe sort of dice, shred type, depending on the texture that you want. And I'm just going to add the noodles. Y'all saw that? Oh, I do not like wasting food, but I'm going to add the noodles back into the pot that I was using to boil them in, and then I'm going to add the chicken, and on top of that, then we're going to go ahead and add in the sauce. Remember, I said I only used two jars, not the four jars. Then I'm going to stir all that up together, turn it on like a low heat, just so that the sauce can warm and really just mesh with the noodles and the chicken and yes 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 y'all see that wait for it Ooh, i love when the top turns like that all right so when i said steam broccoli i meant like put it in the microwave in the bag and steam it <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> but that broccoli is so good y'all just follow the directions on the bag and then here i'm just going to go ahead and put in the garlic knots and while both of those are cooking in the food the chicken alfredo is getting warm throughout i'm taking time to be productive and going to go ahead and wash up the dishes that i've accumulated so far so that when it's time to eat it's time to eat so here is the finished result i am so proud of myself y'all oh my goodness Whew, that didn't last long all right back to work <laughs> But that food did taste good, y'all. I did film a clip of mommy eating it, but she didn't want me to share it. And I respect her wishes for that. But don't think I was going to leave you hanging. We still got to fold up these clothes, okay? Don't let them clothes sit in the dryer. And then you going in the dryer. And then picking them out day by day. You know how I know to say that? Because I have done that and probably will do it again. <laughs> but on this day... We're going to go ahead and get them folded. And I am going to leave you on this note. I certainly appreciate you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the family. If you do choose to subscribe, please, please, please leave me a message. Let me know where you're watching from. And so I can give you a proper hello and welcome to the family. All right, guys, until the next one, I will see you later. Bye.